Welcome back. Now that you've experienced life as an assassin, are you willing to take up the fight and join us? Deacon, load the file. Coming up. We looked at a media file from Aftergo last month, and the information it contains is astounding. But we won't share these things with just anyone. By pressing play, you'll be joining the assassins. If you want to fight the Templar menace, if you're willing to save civilization from Abstergo's clutches, press play, sit back, and ready yourself for the truth. Good choice. Welcome to the Assassins, Initiate. In the 1950s, it was theorized that human DNA worked via the triple helix model. Some years later, the work of Crick and Watson demolished this theory in favor of the double helix. Today, we know the double helix to be indisputably the basis of all life. So why did the triple helix theory gain so much traction? Why did Rosalind Franklin's x-rays seem to confirm it? It turns out that their initial samples had been taken from small traces of precursor DNA, the rare genes of an ancient race embedded in our own. We now know that triple helix DNA is the foundation of the precursor genome. It is the genetic Rosetta Stone of our age. If we can crack it open, if we can sequence the full precursor genome, there is no limit to the knowledge we will gain. Using Animus technology, Precursor history will be open to us for the first time ever. Ancient languages will be unlocked, and ancient technology will be ours for the taking. Imagine what will be possible if we master the technology that underpins the pieces of Eden. Such discoveries would surpass 100-fold the splitting of the atom. Last year, we located a rich sample of precursor DNA in a donor whose genes contained human and precursor DNA at an incredible 25 to 1 ratio. Our work will begin with this sample. Our goal is to unravel the triple helix, sequence the precursor genome, and change the world for the better, forever. Welcome to the Phoenix Project. So, this is where we stand. Last year, Abstergo acquired the body of a man we call a sage, one of a rare breed of humans with a surplus of ancient DNA. This sparked a search for more sages, in the present and in the past. The more Abstergo finds, the closer they get to their final goal. We've blocked their recent attempts to find more, but Abstergo will not stop looking until they sequence a full precursor genome. So, why Arno Dorian? Why chase an assassin through the French Revolution? It turns out, at some point in his life, Arnaud came into contact with another sage. We need you to find out when and where these meetings took place. If Arnaud was present for this sage's death, it might lead Abstergo straight to his body. Naturally, we'd like to find it first. This is where you come in. It won't be simple. Genetic memory must be tackled in sequence to keep the data stable. But we're confident you're up to the task. And you won't be alone. Other initiates, assassins just like you, are doing their part to end this fight. If you need more training, more experience, you can call on them for help. All right. Loading the next sequence. I've got something else for you. The more time you spend with Arno, the more data we'll have to increase your synchronization with him and to activate his abilities. Here, have a look at this. One last thing. While you've been busy, I had Deacon do some poking around in Arno's memories. 
Seems he was a busy guy. See that symbol? That's a co-op mission. I play a lot of games multiplayer. I don't know about you, but I thought you'd like to mix it up a little. These are missions Arno ran with his assassin buddies.